Now to an ABC 15 exclusive, a leader in the powerful Phoenix Police Union under investigation for felony charges, allegations that he beat a handcuffed suspect while working off duty at Walmart. The man was accused of shoplifting and prior to being handcuffed, court records allege officer Tim Biardi struck him more than a hundred times. Nicole Valdez has the shocking story you'll only see on ABC 15. Well, the key evidence here is surveillance video. I watched it this morning and it's a video inside a room where security holds accused shoplifters at Walmart. It shows Phoenix police officer Tim Bayardi slap a handcuffed man with his arms behind his back. Now that accused shoplifter hit so hard he fell off his chair and his eyes rolled to the back of his head. Now that video sent to the county attorney's office and now the officer's own department is recommending he face criminal charges. Roger Moran. This is Roger Moran, a 22 year old accused of trying to steal multiple pairs of pants from this West Valley Walmart. Police say Moran's homeless. This picture taken December 8th of last year. The cuts and bruises on his face still fresh after his encounter with Officer Tim Bayardi. Bayardi moonlighting as a security guard that night. Court paperwork details every aspect of his arrest. The suspected shoplifter hit more than a hundred times. These documents allege Moran tried to escape handcuffs by reaching for Officer Bayardi's testicles. That's when it says Bayardi delivered 23 knee strikes to the suspect's face. Then he hit him 45 more times, this time with a closed fist. But it didn't stop there. The officer punching him another 23 times after he says Moran wouldn't stop moving his arms and reaching for his groin. Bayardi eventually able to get Moran in cuffs, walks him into the store's loss prevention room. That's when he's accused of slapping the 22 year old while he's cuffed. Since the incident, Phoenix police have assigned officer Bayardi quote to home. The department's not calling it paid leave, instead labeling it as a non-enforcement role. Bayardi is also under internal investigation. So we stopped by his home to get his side of the story. We found him on the roof. I can't give any uh, statements. For the last month, we've been asking for more information, documents, and all videos that should be released under Arizona's public records law. Phoenix PD and the city of Phoenix have not produced a single document. Walmart telling ABC 15, customer and associate safety is a responsibility we take seriously. One of Walmart's core values is respect for the individual, and we expect each associate and all third party workers to act with respect for others and the law. Bayardi, not just any officer, he's a 19 year vet at the department and the chairman of the board for the Phoenix Police Law Enforcement Association, the department's union that you may know as PLEA. Bayardi also awarded a Medal of Valor in 2012 after an officer involved shooting in an incident involving a suicidal woman. With plea, Bayardi's personally represented a number of officers going through the department's disciplinary process. On its website, plea says Bayardi was investigated at least once before in 2003, but quote, felt his representation was subpar. After several calls, text, and even showing up to their office, plea president Britt London sent us this statement. Plea is aware of the allegations against our board member and pending the outcome of the investigation, his duties as a member of Plea's Board of Trustees have been suspended. Now, the Maricopa County Attorney's Office confirms they're still deciding whether or not Bayardi will be charged, but says Phoenix Police sent over the case and they're recommending aggravated assault charges. That's a class six felony. Nicole Valdez, ABC 15, Arizona. Some new information.